Hey folks, welcome back. I'm Kurt, aka the Fruitering Gamer, and I'm doing this Legendary Encounters Alien deck building game playthrough! <sighs> it keeps... it's still a long title. So, uh, thank you for joining me and my cat over there, who, well, doesn't care about what I'm doing. And so we're here, and situation is uh, all these cards face down in the complex. A very interesting hand for Adam. And, well, also not that bad of a hand for Anna. And I noticed she has these coordinate cards, so let's put that on the top. So we might use this in Adam's turn. So let's see what Adam's got. Well, first of all, what I'm seeing here is we have these uh, two, three cards. Oops. Three cards here with the same symbol. So we might do some interesting things here. And, well, let's do that. First of all, we have this reconnaissance. So we can draw a card and in this turn we can also scan a room for free. So let's draw a card. It's a grunt. That means we have two grunts also. There we go. Two grunts. Then we can play this expert navigator which gives us two attack. And because we already played a card with this symbol, we can draw another card which is the teams of three, and that might be very interesting. First, before we do that all, we play this second expert navigator, activating another card draw and getting a new grunt. Okay, then, whoa, okay, so after that one, we are going to play this teams of three Captain Dallas cards. So, because we already played two cards with these symbols, we can activate this special ability which allows us to look at the top card of the barracks, which is not that one because we had to fill out the uh, HQ first. So we can take a look at this one and now we can decide if we gain it or put it at the bottom of the HQ stack. Oh, this is not the greatest card for this time, so I think I'm just going to leave it at the bottom of this deck. Like that. Okay. Okay, so, then we also have this Repair the Ship card, it gives us two attack and might give us an extra card next turn if we get the power station empty. But most important of all, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11 attack value. And I think I'm, I'm going to try to find that. There we have it. So, we have used two of our attack, so we had... 11, so we have 9 left, so let's try to remember that. But this is the special one, this is the ventilation seal we were looking for a quite long time. And if it's revealed, we attach it to the ventilation shaft. So, okay. And when that room is clear, we can pay 2 credits to discard this card and block the room. And okay, so that's what we have to do for the new objective. So let's add the ventilation seal right over here. So, uh, the deal is we need to clear this place out and lock it with two crates. Only thing is I could manage it with my nine combat value that I have left, but I only have one credit, so can't do it this turn. So let's see, I think we will try to activate this uh, repair the ship card. And yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we are going to use three combat to. Uh, oh, yeah, I could scan the room for for free as well because of my reconnaissance. So I don't use a combat value, and well, we get this one. This has double strike, so that means if he's in the combat zone and well, gives you strike, he gives you two strikes. So. We have nine combat left. Let's see. Let's first use three of those nine for this card. Okay, so when it's in the combat zone, strikes from enemies cannot be avoided. Okay, we have six combat left. And I think I just kill this one with those six. It goes there. And that means combat zone is empty. I'm going to discard all cards, but before I do that, I can draw an extra card because the power station is empty or is clear. 
so all these cards go away and we draw back up to six okay lots of different cards again and Jonesy as well interesting so I get to draw an extra card there we go and over to Anna who sees the complex well quite empty suddenly we add a new card here to the ventilation shafts and let's see if she can clear it okay so what does she have she has all these cards with the same symbol on it but it's not that useful at this moment because the only thing she can activate with the symbol is the healing and nobody can get healed and so let's do this first let's do attack then this one, which avoid the next strike she would draw next time, but it's not going to happen, I think. And this one, so we have six attack, which is not that much. She has four credits, six attack. So yeah, well, let's. I think we just should try to see what's here. So let's see for four. Oh, okay, look at this. We have the already an objective card for the next objective. It is the airlock controls. When it reveals, we attach it to the airlock right over there. And when that room is clear, we can pay three credits to move any enemy to that room. So, okay, that's good for next objective. And it's good because we didn't have to fight anything here. So this room is clear now. So let's use two of our credits to lock this room and how do we do that we discard this card and we put the objective card here face up and the hive deck on top of it all right so does it mean this card or that one i'm not sure i'm just going to put this here no it has to be discarded so discard here and put this Objective here, right on this one, and the deck on top of it. So we have a smaller complex now. Could be trouble, of course. All right, but that means we have the next objective, the last one, and it's called a perfect organism. By the way, I'm sorry for the alarm going off. I'm not sure where it is. It's not at my place, so I'm just continue. So, our obje objective is to kill the perfect organism, which is uh, probably this nice looking guy or girl. Okay, so that's what we have to do. And if we manage to do that, we win the game with an asterisk because of the chest burster I didn't take much earlier in the game. Okay, so we still have this card. Uh, we could buy something for two credits, but I'm not sure we want to do that. So, let's just end this turn for Anna and draw back up to six and I will be right back oh no the alarm just stopped so that's not necessary to stop filming so let's continue with Adam and Adam is going to add a new card here and there goes the alarm again I think someone's messing with his car okay so what do we have here now we have well, probably the most interesting thing is Jonesy first because that allows us to draw a card. Let's draw a new card and it's you have your orders. Okay, so let's see. I see two cards with this symbol here. It doesn't do much. This Anna doesn't have any coordinate cards. Okay, so we have to do our things with the things we have here. So that gives us, first of all, this one. I uh, should have played that one first, I think, before Jonesy. But okay, we can look at the top card of any player's deck and kill it or put it back. And, well, I'm not sure. Let's just do that again with Anna's deck. She's got a specialist here, so let's kill it. It's not that important of a card anymore. Then we can... Uh, well, 
we can play this card now. Gives us plus two attack because we already played a card with a symbol. So we have four, five attack already. These ones give us eight. And that's it. So we've got eight attack. Eight attack. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. So we could kill that one. And or we could try to find the big dude, but I think we just kill this for seven. There we go. Dead you are. And then we are left with these cards. It gives us two credits, four credits, and six credits. We can look at the top card of the barracks, top two cards on the barracks. We can put one back on the top, one on the bottom. And well, I think, oh, it's not that interesting, both of them. I think I will put this one on the top. Put this first eight card on the bottom. Yeah, okay. And that leaves us with six credits to buy. And, well, we can always use more attacking power. And, yeah, let's just take this expensive one. Yep, there we go. All the cards go away. We only have one left here, so we pull it and then we shuffle back. Okay, new set of cards in our hand. And Anna's turn. Let's do this. Like that. Let's see what she's got. And let's see, first of all, if there's any coordinate card here, which is not there. So we have three attack here. And oh, nothing more. So three attack value. So we should just scan this one of these rooms. So let's scan this one. It's another twin mount xenomorph with six attack and double strike. And we have some things to buy with. Well, yeah, five credits to buy with. And let's see if we can buy something here. Yeah, let's buy this other coordinate card here. Yep. Fill up the HQ. Discard our cards. And draw back six cards. Okay, we have a coordinate to buy with. Okay, back to Adam, who will completely fill up the complex again. Here we go. Alright, let's see, let's see. Okay, so first of all, we have Reconnaissance. So we can draw a new card, which is a specialist, sadly. And then we could scan a room this turn. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, oh, let's do the power station. Yeah, scan the power station is a camouflaged similar morph. When it's revealed, this cannot not be fought this turn, so we cannot kill that one this turn. Okay, uh, but the good thing is we still have one, three, six attack, and that's enough to kill this twin mouth xenomorph. And because Anna wants to have more attack cards, she is going to play the coordinate card of her, giving us two more attack value, uh, buying value credits. We have three credits of our own, and Anna gets to draw a new card, which is an attack card, which she hoped for. And then she, uh, I can buy five for five credits, and well, I think I buy the, another one of these expert navigators. Fill back up, and well, oh, I might take this one, it's not that bad. Yeah, I take this one as well, so for two, so that's... We used all our credits, and uh, oh, we have an expensive one here. Gain a character in HQ to your hand, oh, it, but it costs nine. Okay, combat zone is still empty. Okay, oops. Sometimes playing with one hand is so difficult. Alright, this one goes away as well. And we get to draw 
Six cards. Ooh, oh, basic cards. Not good. Not good. Oh god, that's really bad. That's no, it's really really bad here. Okay, but over to Anna, who is going to draw a card, put it in the power station. Okay, what do we have here? Two normal specialists, a normal grunt. Hmm. Okay. Well, not that good here. Okay, let's just play these cards. So, two attack, four attack, six attack, and I played two cards with this symbol on it, so I can activate this, I can look at the top card of the barracks, and if it's a character, I can decide to keep it. And, well, I might as well keep it, so it goes in my uh, discard pile. And then we have one attack more, so we have seven attack. And let's see, I think I oh, I'm not sure. And I'm going to check the power station first, so I have four left, but it's an event. Oh god, it's an event. Okay, let's see, an event, and we are at objective three. And it says, it's hunting us, move the leftmost enemy or hidden card in the complex to the combat zone. Crap. Okay, <laughs> so this card here is going to the combat zone, so when a card enters the combat zone it gets turned face up. And we have a Xenomorph Lance Tail, and in the combat zone, well, strikes cannot be avoided. That sucks, of course. We cannot kill it because we only have four... Sorry about that. <laughs> we only have four uh, combat left, and I guess we just use that to kill this one here. It's dead. And two credits to buy with, which I'm not going to use. And the combat zone is not empty, so we have to draw a strike. And we have this. Well, okay, it's just a flesh wound. That's not that bad. And because the power station is empty and we have our repair the ship card here, we can draw an extra card here at the end of our turn. So let's discard all this stuff and draw back up to seven. But I have to dis shuffle the discard pile first. Okay, there we go. And over to Adam again. And well, let's play Adam once more and Anna once more, and that's what. In this uh, video. Okay, so first a card in the complex, and then let's see what do we have here. We have two grunts here. We have this expert navigator. Oh, there's another grunt. So we have five attack value, but Anna here is going to give us this coordinate, giving us seven attack value, and giving her another card. She's just a specialist. And, well, giving us 7 attack, so let's kill this Xenomorph in a combat zone. Just to avoid wounds or strikes. That ends our turn already. This goes away, and we take 6 cards. Okay, this is a very interesting hand. So you can see 4 of the same symbols here, so this might be, well, nice. Of turn and we go to Anna she gets another card here in the complex and she has well she has her thirst for knowledge card which I think we will play first let's her draw three cards this is very strong uh, in the last uh, with the last objective so she gets three extra cards which is two grants and a first eight Ripley which she will not be able to use I guess Mm, no, not really. Okay, so what do we have here? Um, well, let's do this. We play this, prepare the ship, and followed by this motion detector, which is activated, and I can scan any room. And I think I just scan this here. It's Ash. Okay, it's a special enemy. And Ash cannot be killed unless another player coordinated with you this turn, and it's, he's got 8. 
combat. So let's see what we have. So we already have two combat. This would give us three, four, five, and well, this time I'm lucky. I have this coordinate card for from Adam, who is gonna play that one, giving us three more attack, giving Adam another card, and that means we can, yeah, we can kill that guy. So let's do that. He's going down, baby. Yeah. All right, that was a good one. And we still have two credits, three, four, six, seven credits. So let's give, yeah, let's give Anna also a You Are My Lucky Star. Ripley, there we go. And we don't have any creatures in the combat zone. And we have played this Repair the Ship card and the power station is empty, so we can draw seven cards for our next turn. So let's do that. Let's complete the HQ. There we go. All the cards in the discard pile. And seven cards here. Two. Six. Seven. And well, that's enough for this video. So we are looking for that perfect organism to kill it. I uh, haven't found it yet, but maybe, or probably in the next video, guess it will be the last one for this playthrough. So join me then. Feel free to comment, feel free to like this video, share this video, whatever. Feel free to subscribe. And I thank you all for watching and see you guys in the legendary future. Bye-bye.